Hi friends, I am Anuradha from Q Milestone Academy and in last milestone we got introduced to the concept of parameterization and we looked in detail parameterization using mark dot parameterize that is parameterization at mark level. Now in this part 8 of our series Python for beginners we will take a step forward and dig deep into parameterization at fixture level. So further to that what I'll do I'll give an example of data driven testing by a parameterizing fixture with JSON test data so you get the understanding of parameterizing fixture in real world scenario and so there is a lot to do and let's get started so I'm back to my script development environment where I created this test last time right I parameterized using mark.parameterize and I passed product name product color and there different values in my simple print statement under test case. Now let's create one more test case and see how we can parameterize at fixture level. So I will create a file test underscore parameterize underscore fixture underscore example and just to notify all these codes are present in QA Milestone Academy link to which I'll provide in the description below. So let's start with the code. For that, I will import from PyTest import fixture. Uh, let me start the concept with a very simple example where I crea uh, create a test case, test underscore fruit, which uses a fixture called fruit. Okay. So in case you are not clear about fixtures, please go through my lecture on fixture. So test underscore fruit and it simply prints the value which it received for fruit okay I am fruit okay where fruit is the one which is returned by our hypothetical fixture let it not be hypothetical anymore then let's create a fixture add fixture okay so right now I'll not pass anything to it and let's create a function define fruit right we need to return fruit so I will write fruit define fruit and this is supposed to return fruit so if I return for example return let's say anything apple okay and let's run this test and for running this test I'll particularly mark this test case at mark I'll import mark from pytest import mark so that I don't bother about other test cases which are available over here and add mark fixture let's go sample one let's say this okay I'll not bother to put in pytest ini for now I'll simply run this pytest minus S for printing, V for verbose, and M for mark, where my mark is fixture underscore sample one. Okay, let me run this test. So it says test underscore fruit I am apple and we know why the warning is there we need to register it in pytest ini over here so right now I'm not registering it let's just say focus over here so I returned apple and it uh, I pass this fixture to this test case and it took an apple and it printed apple now in my fixture I want to pass different values each time my test runs and for that I will use argument called params and these params I can define in the form of dictionary say apples and um, whatever it is guava and let's say one more orange all right whatever okay and instead of returning apple I wish to get the value over here in each iteration uh, read this value one by one so instead of this I will use a special fixture called requests 
request is a special fixture from PyTest and basically it gives information about the testing context and it can take an attribute called params and to read this fixture in this test in this fixture I have to pass this fixture again request right so that it is able to read this request and this request provides an attribute params which can read the value which are provided to fixture to which it is passed it can read the parameters of that fixture so here what we have effectively done we will understand let's run the test case first and see if it runs or not I'll quickly go and register this so that we get a neat output sample fixture okay parameterization okay so let's run this test again now this time it should run three times okay what it says has no attribute params okay sorry so it should be request dot param all right so good so you see this I have one test case and it has run three times for three different value which me which I introduced in my last introduction about parameterization running the same test with multiple values gives th different test cases okay each using that particular value so here each time this request dot param is picking first value it is this test is getting executed the second value this test is executed and so on right so effectively you see we have parameterized at fixture level rather than mark level at if we parameterize at mark level what we have to do we have to parameterize test at test case level too. with fixture we have parameterized it at one time only and we can use it across different test cases and to parameterize at fixture level to take the parameters at fixture level we have to use this special fixture called request and pass it to our fixture and then this it will return request dot param so let's take a more concrete example now and what we will do now we will go to conf test dot py I already talked about conf test dot py in one of my lectures so what we will do over here now is we will create our fixture over here in conf test.py we will define our test data now which test data we will be using we will define this test data in json format in separate json and then in this conf test.py we will parameterize our fixture which will pick test data from test data underscore test underscore data dot json so let's quickly first create one json file now let's create one more new folder called data here and let's create one file over here test underscore data dot json and I'll write the data which I specified in my last script test underscore parameterize example this one in json format i am with the complete data in test underscore data json so here i have two attributes product name and product color okay and let's go to conf test now and let's create a method first which reads data from this json to read data from json let's write a method define load underscore Say JSON data okay and let's write it as let's pass a path of JSON data file to this method and here I'll say with open and open this file which is available at this path with open path as let's say my underscore data colon here I'll return it in data equal to JSON dot load my underscore data so eventually this json method first of thing first thing we need to import json which is in built library in python so we have imported json and we'll use its method load which will convert json string to python dictionary format and then we will return this now the other thing is to do is to make note of uh, the location of this file and let's 
describe it as my path to get the location i'll go to file path for this and i'll just copy this and let me say my underscore path is equal to my underscore json path is equal to let me define it as here test underscore data dot json and the, the other thing is i will convert it into forward slash or you can simply have your script your data file in the same folder but that's not a good option in long run so i have a separate data folder okay so my json path stores this test data json and with this method we are converting json data to python python dictionary format now let's create a fixture and parameterize it with this returned data which contains data set of product name and product color and we want this data to be returned in this data set one by one so let's create a fixture add fixture and here i'll say param equal to and effectively i need to call my method over here load underscore json data and here i will pass the path of my actual data file okay and then i will create method say um let's say my json data my test data okay and uh, here i'll pass request right to read these params and then we know what to do it's simple like we did just a couple of minutes back data is equal to request dot param and here we are returning data using this feature okay okay let's not create a confusion between this data and this data so let's say test underscore data okay so this is a fixture which i have created my test underscore data now let's go back to our parameterize example and let's copy this test case from here copy it to our parameterize fixture example let me mark this test case okay and what i'll do instead of passing in this test product underscore detail i will pass the fixture name which i have created here my test data okay i'll copy it and then i'll paste it over here and what i have to do now i have a dictionary and i have to access this attribute i will access it with the help of key my product underscore name is equal to let's say this okay okay as a string similarly i can do this with color as well my underscore product underscore color is equal to my test data product color and i can pass this string here now let's comment out the other two other part of this script and we will run only this test case till it shows me some error somewhere okay and now let's run this script again only with this test case cool so i have this test data shoe black or what blah blah so this test data is parameterized at fixture level in this conf test.py and this fixture is passed to this test case right and here you go you have the result with this test case so this some additional thing okay this square bracket is left okay let's run it again just for clarity okay so here you see this is i'm shoe with black i'm car with red and so on so in my last lecture i talked about a maintenance problem that if we mark each test case at mark level if we parameterize each test case at mark level it will be really hard to maintain script and with this lecture we have solved the problem we have reduced code tremendously we have solved the problem of maintenance that's all about this lecture let's meet in next lecture friends i hope i was able to help you through this lecture don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay tuned 
and have more such videos and don't forget to visit my website qamilestone.com which talks about more such youtube series wonderful posts and my udemy courses thanks for now